Every day is awesome. Yeah, man. Actually, did I even see the movie? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> We're all confused now. You put it wrong, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let that slide. Yeah. We'll see if anyone's OCD goes nuts and they want to fix that. It's cool. Oh, I just... She's breaking it already. She's breaking it already. Oh, and that She's would be something. breaking it again, man. Yeah. You built this by yourself, or is this came no, this is part of this. Yeah, this is part of this set. Is it? I'm not that smart, man. I can't do like that. <laughs> press the sub. Press the notification bell. Give us some likes. We're gonna get that <laughs> on this show, all right? Cool. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and look, it's our new guest. This is... Brandon, AKA Go Style. Yeah. yeah. So, I've known Brandon for a super long time. How long have we known each other? I don't know, man. Over a decade, maybe? Yeah. Something so like that. We actually have worked together on a couple of film, music video, corporate gigs together. Yep. And he is also a, well, how, you introduce yourself, man. Tell us okay. who you are. Well, you know, I'm Brandon, uh, AKA Ghost Style, AKA Dude Make Beats. Do a lot of music. I'm with a crew called 24 Herbs, Yase May. I'll put link in the description of all your, like okay. follow, follow Brandon <laughs> and follow all his music and 24 Herbs. And you guys actually might remember him if you're a huge gamer like I am. Their music was played in a game called Sleeping Dogs. Yeah. Want some pork buns? <laughs> yeah. That was like the famous line, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I can't remember. I didn't realize until now, until very recently, when he saw the Lego videos, like you wanted to come down and do some reviews with me, right? Yeah, man. You know, I'm a big, actually, I grew up on Legos. I checked out his things and, you know, saw he got massive amounts of Legos and bricks here, all types of bricks. I thought it'd be great if I can, you know, be a guest and. You know, this is one I built already, and this is a two in one. And then we're gonna have Brandon or me or whoever, whatever, break it down, and we're gonna transform it into the next set. Hi, everybody. So, this is Lego Movie 2. It's Emmett's Dream House and Rescue Rocket 2 in 1. Number 70831, 706 pieces for ages 8 and up. But look at us, man. Do we look like 8 to you guys? We're like. 80 and up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So why this, man? Why'd you pick this? I love the Lego movie. The first one. Unfortunately. Sorry, man. I still haven't quite. You know, I've seen like a little bit of it. I'm really bad, man. The There's, first movie? The first one, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Second yeah. one, I've kind of watched half of it. Yeah. And I'm going to get a lot of. Yeah, go ahead. Yell <laughs> at me on the comment down below. All right. Let's look at this set right here. Let's start with the biggest boy first. Let's okay. start with Emmett's house all right Fine. you're more artistic than i am what do you think of the colors and stuff well firstly i mean the the great thing what i think they did was that they made a movie that shows their lego and they could actually reproduce it exactly like it is in the movie yeah, so, that's one of the smartest things man. i think that's very smart so if ever you have a product and you could lace it in with a movie i think it's very good secondly yeah it's well constructed man i like the orange door orange is one of my favorite colors oh nice yeah, I like so. yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's pretty tight though. Huh? As far as build goes, yes, this is a super solid house. But in the film, they had like so much more. They had patio. Uh, that's right, yeah. They had a swinging chair. You're right. And even on the inside, they had a full blown living room. And this, we'll look at the inside in a second. I just kind of wish it was more full, right? It had Bigger, more grassy right? area around it. But I think because it's a two in one that's limited, they couldn't mm. really do too much because it's going to be broken down. Some parts of it to me look kind of odd, like the studs kind of stick out. Even oh, under okay. the windows here, you can see kind of some of the studs sticking up. I get but you. I get you. For kids, man, it's fun to play with. I love the fact that it does fit open like that. Yeah. Okay, so we come to the front door. Got a picture of Lucy. Yeah. These are all style. stickers. Yeah, it's all stickers, by the way. We got a self portrait there of Emmett. Emmett, a lamp, and a sofa. That's it, man. Kitty. On the top, right? What the hell is this orange thing? Is it like a scratching post for him? It's like a designer lamp, maybe. Because knowing that's gonna be a second build, they're like, oh, we should just stick these pieces <laughs> here. Even on this side here, right. on the top. The kitty room doesn't have a window. But there is a window on the other side that yeah. you can't get to, you know? But at least they have a living room here. Like I said, I kind of just wish it looked like the movie because the movie had like this big blue sofa. Do you think it'd be worth it for them to make a movie house like, a, like one that represent the movie? No, I, pro I bet you someone out there has like replicated the bigger scale of this thing, you know? Yeah, well, if, if you replicated the bigger scale, give us a shout, you know, give Scotty a shout and, you know, send some pictures over. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we got the living room here. Yeah. Look, we got a little TV there. 
table and chairs. You mm. see like this side, not a chair, like a proper chair because if they put one there, it would block the kitchen. Mm. So it's like too small. But again, two in one, very Let simple. Let me see this build. piece. I saw something suspicious. Brandon here. found something in there. What's he looking at? I'm looking at the triangle with. <laughs> I'm always suspicious the, of triangles in. The cars. Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this thing's a triangle itself. <laughs> oh no, it's a sign, man. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know. But other than that, you just got this crazy looking rooftop. I like this pattern here that they got. You like the pattern, right? Like the top part. That... But that, that to me just shows like, okay, they're going to do something else with it. That's why oh, it's like that. Like okay, it's not. Okay. Smooth right. like all the other parts of the roof. Right. Has a chimney there. And then I guess this part here has a little bit of orange that you like sticking out right there above the window. Yeah. Then we got some accessories on the outside of the house, which I really don't remember from the film. And what is this? This is like this... the workbench, right? So this must be where Emmett's gonna work and build. This is like a mini scale version of the rocket house right here, right? I don't remember it in the movie. I think it was like maybe not like even one in the film. Or something. Because yeah, maybe it was only a second. Well, now we're gonna get blasted by the Lego <laughs> movie fans now. Or they just wanted to utilize whatever leftover pieces exactly. they have. This is gonna be the rockets for the the, the jet that he's making. Is that why? But when you open this, it's interesting that they have this here. Can you guys see mm. that? They have blue Technic pieces in there. I have no idea you why. Know why? Or what that is? It looks. This looks like it could be like a water cooler or something. So when you open it, those are supposed to be like water. They were gonna find out how wrong you are. Now. <laughs> All right, so we got this set up, and then we have this thing here. I just, I have no idea what that is. You're the expert, man. I was telling Scotty before that this looks like something from Star Wars. Push down on it, it'll fire. You can fire right right at them at the camera. Just push it out. No way. No fire. There oh. you go. No fire. There oh. you go. Nice shot. That's right. Yeah. I don't know if it was used later in the movie. Like, is it? It seems like it needs to be connected. No, to just like a separate piece. Oh, it's a separate piece. This is like a missile rocket thing. Maybe they used it in the film, but we just don't remember. Well, like. Emmett's got a really creative mind. So this is my uh, defense missile projectile thing. This is my water cooler turned jet rocket. And this is my little house that's miniature in the movie, but that's all good. And then like, yeah. As long as he has his coffee, it's all cool. <laughs> yeah. And then you got like little small containers here. And this one, there's actually something in here. Here, I'll let you open this and you can see what's inside and surprise us. Again, very symbolic of other things like the green frog. <laughs> I don't know. What does that represent? <laughs> I have no idea, but it's something, it could be, well, it's it's a, just a green frog to people, yes. But Still anyway. cool set, but you know, I bought this for this. I'm a building guy, I love homes and modular buildings, like the big ones, yeah. they're all over the office. It has everything you need in a home. Except no toilet, but that's cool. Yeah, maybe well, maybe this well, is the toilet I don't think, right here. The yeah, Lego people actually, I don't think go to toilets because uh, I ha I really don't know. I have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> so there we go. We'll sit Emmett in that thing there, All just right. a bucket. And then this is kind of cool. I like Stereo, this. Stereo boombox. Yep, this is dope. I still DJ once in a while. I appreciate this. All right. Okay, so we got this thing here. I have no idea what it is. I think it's like it's another shooter. Yeah, but it doesn't shoot. It, it, it just like holds this thing in there. Uh -huh. So this is very simple. It's just like a holder. Not right, sure. Right, right, right. So this is not a sticker. This is the pillow. E and L forever. Emma and Lucy forever. Yeah. That's a cute, nice little touch. Yeah. And you got his plant. He takes his plant with him everywhere. And then you got this thing. I have no idea what that is. This is, looks like some type of this is exercise thing. Or a weapon. Yeah, or a weapon. Do you guys know what that is? Let us know in the comment. Cool. So there you guys go. This is the first round. Now we got to speed build the second part. Before we do that, I'm going to let you do the honors of drop testing this thing. Because my fans love to watch stuff being dropped tested so drop tested hold that sucker up oh my gosh dude i don't know it feels bad I feel it feels bad. wrong right feel, it feels really <laughs> I feel wrong really wrong to just see some of the other sets i dropped i'm like it will break but you know we have to make sure this is secure for kids you i don't think this shot. is gonna fall apart at all because it's flat and it's heavy it's solid oh yeah you it, try you lift it up it's actually traumatizing to break lego five four three two one Oh, I think oh. I actually shattered, man. <laughs> I was expecting it to be in one piece. And yeah. quickly, I'm gonna drop this one in three, two, one. That one's okay, only the, the miniature model of the dream house came off. And of course, we got the shooter thing, which is, which is solid. Solid. Just one little piece flew off. All right, you guys, it's dimension time. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. And yeah, Emma's house is a little bit small. We're just gonna put it somewhere here and put this somewhere maybe here on the side like that and put this thing here. And why not, let's put Emmett there. But the length of the house 
is 16 studs by length and the width if i pull it here it's actually the same but at the very very back over there it does extend out by two studs so it's like 18 studs now let's check the height so break out your one by four bricks i'm gonna put this right here now it's kind of around 15 bricks in height but you gotta remember the house is already kind of like on its own plate you know it's more or less between 14 to 15 depending on how you look at it so this workbench table thing is around 17 studs by length and six by width if you see it from right there and let's check the height of that thing yeah again break out your one by four bricks we can stack it right there oh look at that look at that look at that yeah well it's almost there it's kind of popping up just slightly that is 16 bricks in height and of course you got this piece right here you guys can visually see that i don't even know how to measure that thing anyway there you go dimensions for this let's see what it looks like with the rocket house all right you guys here's the distracted piece that brandon broke and you know it, uh, it's brought back that childhood trauma like of seeing it oh my god i just destroyed it <laughs> panic attack so i got my tray here okay what do we do what do we take do? everything apart throw it in the tray okay and we'll get ready to build the second one so all right you know, we're probably going to skip through a lot of this in our time lapse this, so All right. we're just throwing it. Let's do it. Oh man, I clipped my nails and I'm bleeding now. <sighs> That's why you need a separator. Want <laughs> yeah, to show guess. everyone your bloody finger? I hope you don't mind bloody bits. Weak sauce, man. You build, I'll find the pieces for you. Okay, okay. <laughs> you need the uh, single, single yellow. Single. Like a you sell single yellow too. Probably having fun with how we're naming these pieces. These these pieces have technical names. Oh, they do. They? <laughs> they, they do. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite Le Lego as a kid was um, Castle Lego and yeah. um, also Space Lego. So you know yeah. they redid the space stuff recently. I haven't picked any of those up yet. Oh but yeah? They have a brand new whole space theme now. Okay. So they have like the space shuttle dock and they have some really cool looking stuff. Wow. And there's another China brand that have done their own style, which is actually pretty good too. Yeah. They have a, they're called Sluban, but they have their own space stuff too.
Yeah. So is it done? We're done. done. There, there we go. Wow. This, I think I'll actually like this better than the house now. Yeah. And I like the fact that the rooftop can come off too. So easy. Wow. You have the interior, which is like a spacecraft. It's like a seat. Yeah, so now you got a cockpit in there. Yeah. Pilot seat, you got dashboard there. And then see- uh, Extra kitchen. Then the t kitchen table. Brandon's favorite. I like how they use that door. The engines on the side look really good. I like these movable parts in the back. Movable wings look awesome. Yeah, definitely like it better than the, the house. And also, if you want to like, if you want to repair the engine, you can have an inside look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you actually use the space again there. You got the pipes inside, some froggies. Yeah. They put frogs in everything. I don't know why. There's a couple <laughs> new sets of, uh, I think the Jurassic Park. Oh, really? The T-Rex, the big one, they put a frog inside. Uh, like, they used a the fence in the front just to, at least to have it there. And then like the gun's down here and it fires out if you do push the pedal. I'm going to try one. Let's try one here. Movable guns, yeah. Wow, right on the lens. <laughs> it's very cool. And as Brandon says, the wing tips kind of move around. I really like this a lot now. And they even kept the chimney on the top. Now you have to do the honor of drop testing it one more time. No, are you kidding? Oh. Don't do it, don't do it that high, man. Do it low. <laughs> have to really... drop test it? Yeah, we do. We just built it. We have to drop test it, man. Oh, Gotta do it for the fans. Oh dude, but we just built it. Okay, don't drop okay, it. Okay. Don't, don't drop it too high. Drop it like. Okay, I'll there. drop it just a little. Just like maybe as you're playing and you're flying it around and you just drop there you it, go. right? All right. Okay. okay. All right. So here we go. So I'm flying it around. And come closer here, okay. like right okay, there. Ready? Okay. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Survive. Not bad, solid, dude. Right? Yeah. Should Should I do it higher? higher? Okay, do it higher. Yeah, do it a little yeah. bit higher here. I know it'll probably fall apart here. Dude, this thing is <laughs> solid, man. Well, we know now. Pretty solid. Well, of course, you have expert builders that, you know, <laughs> keep it. Did all the wrong things, but made it right. Yeah, I made sure it's tight. Let's just look at the minifigures themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna pass Emmett off to Brandon and he's gonna explain about him. What do you think of the printing quality? You know how it goes. Yeah, all right. So Emmett, he's just a Lego dude. The most ordinary Lego dude of Lego dudes, but that's what makes him special, right? And you love him because he's, he's orange. But the printing oh, yeah. on the outfit and the, the silver. Is the silver like that? Yeah, it's what actually it? pretty cool. Lucy, AKA Wild Style, with the mean face, do a happy face for everybody. I'm Lucy and I'm super happy. We're totally inspired by um, Ray this time, right? From the Star Wars film, like the, the, the opening and everything. The, oh yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, scarf yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, right? But she's always been kicking ass. Yeah, she's been always very skilled warrior style. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it how they got the goggles, the scarf, her new uh, bow and arrow stuff. The neon color looks really cool on here, the blue and purple. Yep. Always hip, always hip. Very cool, and I do like the headpiece. The goggles are built in. Yeah. And then we got Rex. I like his helmet, man. I actually like his backpack, like how they put the jets on the back, that's extending out on oh, him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, actually yeah. a really cool design. And this visor is kind of cool because it doesn't flip up like the others. And he actually has a hairpiece. I'm just grouchy, man, because I've been in space with dinosaurs. And he goes, ha ha, I'm the best because I've been in space with dinosaurs. Finally, you got Unikitty, right? Oh yeah. Lego Movie 2, she's changed into this hardcore kitty cat Yeah, I actually thing. have that one at home. And, um, yeah, it's, she's pretty cool. The cat has two expressions. This is the first one that we're seeing here. Nice and sleepy and tired. Yeah, and here's the fierce uni kitty looking angry. And I like how they attach the spear to her. I guess that's a her. It looks like her. Yeah, it's got eyelashes, her. There she is. Cool, you get two versions of her, because two is always better than one. Okay, so this is dimensions for the rescue rocket. We're gonna do this pretty quickly. So the length there is 22 studs in length. It's roughly around there, especially if you put it to the edge there. And look at that side and that side. Yeah, at least it fits on the base plate nicely, just like the house. Flip it to the side here. Where are this piece is missing? Oh, well. Well, that is around 19 studs by width. Now we'll check out the height. All right, so break out your one by four bricks. I'm gonna put it right around here. I'm just gonna guess. Yeah, we'll stick it there. I kind of found a sweet spot here. So I'll touch the chimney there. Look at that. Yeah, can you see that good? That is 
15 bricks in height. Now, which one do you like better? The house or the rocket? All right, there you guys go. Emmett's dream house and the rescue rocket. Thank you, Brandon, so much for joining me in building this. Yep. If you guys want him to come back on here, let us know. Get him back on here. Yeah, man. Thank you, Scotty, so much for having me. This was like a great build to build from my favorite movie. No problem, man. Lego movies and... Um, we'll yeah, do a smaller man. set next time so that we don't have to take as much time to build it. Make sure you support this channel. Yeah. Subscribe, notification, hit some likes, you know, comment. Give us your comments, uh, right? Yeah. Especially about the stuff like the green frog and, um, you know, if anybody has any customized stuff that they did, you know, I think and, we'd love to hear about that. Yeah, and also, what well, we just discussed this, but Brandon, the music that you're hearing now, we'll put up with the volume up your music right now <laughs> and turn it down, or the music that you have been listening to in this video belongs to him, so go support him as well. Yeah. I'll put all his channel descriptions in the link. Facebook, Instagram, send me all that information. Cool, man. And one more thing before we go, for thanking you for coming down here, I have a gift for you. All right. Ready? All right, let me pull out the gift. Yeah, and it's in a Lego bag. Oh, what's that, dude? Surprise. Let's just check this out. Let's this is for this you. Out. There's two sets in there. There's one. Oh, word. Put that little, there you go. Okay, so this one is not Lego. But this is another alternative brand. You guys have seen my reviews for Royal Toys. Yep. This is the new stand. You live here in Hong Kong, so I figured this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. It's not perfect. Pieces will fall apart on you. Loads of stickers, but it's pretty cool, man. And it's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Nice. And there's one more gift I got for him. That is Lego. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, dude, the Lego movie. That's right. Oh, Holly man. Bag. The heart. Great, man. You know, this world needs a lot more heart, man. So if you got heart, you know, keep it up, man. Thanks cool. a lot, bro. That's awesome. No problem. Yeah, make sure you check out his online store for like really hard to find exclusive brick, brick yeah. style, right? And um, yeah, that's great, man. Um, awesome. If you buy from us, I'll make sure Brandon puts a little something extra special in there for you guys. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure, whatever. All right. Cool, man. So until next time, brick me up, Scotty. Yeah. I haven't even done that video. I have a really old two in one Lego video I have not put up yet. Mm -hmm. And I have my partner back then, Patrick, who does a lot of video shooting with me. Time lapse, like the build. It yeah. was really good. Man, I'll work on that one next for you guys. Dope. But um, check it out, man. You gotta check. Actually, you should check out this music video that Patrick did with Brandon. Oh, okay, I'll show yeah. a little video of it right here while building. Yeah. That was crazy, man. You can tell us about that. Uh, yeah, well, it took a few weeks to do it. Each time we did it, we met for a few hours, and I had to. He had to. Make, that was. He had to make me jump like every second for the <laughs> for like an hour. Or That's I, crazy, one shot. man. Yeah, that that one shot where I'm floating in the air. Yeah. You gotta check that, that out. There's that a lot of shots cool. like that. Anyway, Patrick's a really talented uh, filmer, uh, specialized in time lapse. Yeah, say. so he used to work with me, yeah. doing all the camera stuff. And since I stopped and I did Lego, he kind of just went on his own. Yeah. And he thinks I'm really great stuff, so follow yeah. him too. Make sure you check him out. So hi, Patrick. Yeah, what's up, Pat? Can you make a beat with that? Go ahead. Yeah. I can't freestyle, man. You, you freestyle. Go for no, it. Go for it. <laughs> Building Lego with my friend. Gonna drop it and see where it ends. Oh my gosh. It's good. Not drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. In a, as being a human, you don't want to have two faces, right? You just want one face. Some people have two faces. <laughs> That's what I'm so I don't know what they're promoting here. You know what I'm saying? Like. So Brandon, tell us right now. Promote yourself, man. Let people know what you're doing right now. All right, right now. Um, Oh, I'm, break I'm breaking your leg. Breaking the sets, man. Don't break the set. Don't touch it. We're going to be breaking it. I'm still doing music. I'm venturing into doing um, more video editing. And what about 24 Herb, man? Are you guys coming out with a new video? Or so, yeah, 24, 24, you know, we got songs coming out. 24 is, uh, we work organically, so there's no deadline for us. So, we're, you know, we're just, when it feels right and the vibe is right, the universe comes together, you know, we got a song. Before I forget, I gotta mention one of my favorite songs is called Huge yeah. Clevaye. I'll put the link in the, in the description. You guys gotta go watch that. 
And you guys, actually, you guys are pretty active. You have a podcast, and you get like celebrity guests down there. So. Oh yeah, we have uh, 24 has a show called uh, 24 Talk, 24 Seven Talk. Yeah, I say chat talk. But you gotta know Cantonese. Yeah, you gotta know Cantonese it. to watch it. We have Daniel Wu on there. Yeah. From Into the Badlands. We have all these um, big uh, Hong Kong legendary actors and directors and um, a lot of the hip hop scene, a lot of the um, you know the best MCs and um, yeah, everything doing creative and we just chit chat about you know what they do, who they are, what they like to do. It's very easy. Easy well, one day if I become a Lego legend, you can, I'll, 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 oh, for you, can, sure, man. you can interview me if you want Most to. Most definitely, man. Most I'm definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he is a, he's a, you're already a Lego legend. No. What are you talking about, man? 